Hey everybody, Classic Gengar here, and this is kind of a combination between Just So You Know and a battle video. So, if you look at the screen, you see that I am at the Festival Plaza, and you have to talk to this computer, and this is how you view and share your battle videos. I did not know that, and so I thought I we couldn't share battle videos at all because it's not in the battle video option in the menu, so this is Just So You Know. All right, guys, let's get right into this. A few battle video. It's going to check the SD card. And, you know, as always, I have the bottom screen turned off. It's better quality streaming for me. And it's just, uh... Oh, shit. Well, I messed up. Bear with me, guys. I'm uh, still getting used to the new... <laughs> the new, um... So let's see. Alright, so this is going to be a Wi-Fi battle between me and Brock. Alright guys, let's get into this. Anyway, so, alright. I'm going to lead with Golem, and if you didn't know, Golem this generation is Rock and Electric. So, pretty interesting typing, so... I'm going to go for my Stealth Rocks, I believe, and he is going to withdraw. He sends out a Snorlax, which is scary as ever because I've, I've lost the Snorlax so many times. <clears throat> so I get my rocks up, it's really good, and then I'm going to go for the Stone Edge, and I get a crit. <laughs> this is awesome. Things are going really well for me. Um, he gets a yawn off, and I'm just going to go for a Thunder Punch. And that is going to be enough to take Snorlax out. And I got another critical hit, which is unnecessary, but I got it. So that puts my Golem to sleep, and he's pretty much done for. So he's going to swap out his Greninja, or swap in his Greninja, more accurately. And I am just going to try to wake up and get a Thunder Punch off. But he's going to get a Scald off, and it doesn't bring me down to my Sturdy, but it's pretty close. So, I'm still asleep. I don't wake up. And he's just going to be able to take me out with the Scald, and he's going to be able to transform into Ash Ninja. And it's going to be a pain. So, Golem goes down, and he has his Battle Bond activated. And his stats are going to skyrocket, and it's going to be a pain if he gets a sweep going. Luckily, I have a counter to this. I sent out my Golisopod, and um, he's going to withdraw, because I don't know if he knew about this, but uh, first impression probably would have been able to easily take out the, um, the Greninja. So, I get, a, I get a stat drop. It's not a big deal. And I still do a pretty decent damage to Tauros. And I'm going to be able to Sucker Punch. And it's not doing quite as much as I'd like. But uh, he gets for Rock Tomb. And it's not doing very much damage to me. Like, not, not really. So, I actually miss... Like, he actually misses his next Rock Tomb, which is really good for me. So, I got free recovery with um, my <laughs> Leech Life. And now this time I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch and take him out. Now it's pretty risky. He could have swapped out here predicting that. Because that was a pretty obvious play on my part. It, like, it really was. But um, maybe he just didn't see the value in it and decided to let it go down. So he's going to bring out his Leo. And it's uh, his Incineroar. And it's going to take 25% because of Stealth Rocks. And it's actually going to go for his Moon Salt something or another. Malicious Moonsault. Alright, that was close. Got one out of the two words right. And, um, I actually survived this pretty well. Get eat my Citrus Berry, and it, uh, puts me just above half, so it doesn't activate my emergency exit, and I get a liquidation off. But I am at Neg 2, or Neg 1, so it doesn't quite take it out, and he's gonna go for Fire Fang, and it um 
it is going to activate my emergency exit. So I get a free swap in. I really just wish I would have been able to take this guy out, but getting a Mudsdale out isn't the worst thing either. He's actually going to go for Darkest Lariat, which isn't bad. Like I explained in my last video, if you didn't watch that, that's fine. It uh, ignores all stat changes for the opponent. So if I get like six defense boosts, it's just going to ignore that and it's going to do normal damage. So I actually take him out with a rock slide. Uh, you know, I could have went earthquake or something, but I didn't quite know or remember if he had someone with levitate or fly on his team. So I felt like that would have been the safer play. So he's going to send out his battle bond Greninja. And um, I'm actually... <coughs> I was under the impression maybe it'd go away if he swapped out, but no, it's the whole battle. So I just live on three. Three HP now. That's so insane. And I'm going to get off this superpower, and it's going to destroy Greninja. So I got pretty lucky there. I think he got a little bit of a low roll. And um, I was able to survive a Scald from the Nash Greninja with Mudsdale. Now, Mudsdale, even though his ability... Perks up his defenses from what I know, or at least noticed, his defenses aren't that great. So, I mean, the ability is nice, but... So he's going to go for Spirit Shackle, and that's going to easily take me out. Um, even though I'm like plus three in defense, it's stab, and I'm pretty sure I made that uh, rallet for him. So it's, uh, it's uh, adamant and uh, fully invested in attack. So, I go for Sword Dance, and he goes for, or no, I go for Sucker Punch, sorry, and he gets up a Sword Dance, and um, that's pretty bad for me, but I predict he's going to eventually attack. So I go for Sucker Punch, and it, uh, it does some pretty decent damage, but I am definitely going to go down to a Shadow Shackle, 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 or whatever. That's a pretty good move. It's actually base 80, it's ghost type, and it prevents your opponent from escaping. So I send my Decidueye in. I feel like, um, I actually mixed click here. I was supposed to go for Sucker Punch, but I ended up going for Leaf Blade, but I outsped anyways. Uh, it was a speed tie, honestly, but I got that, uh, I won the speed tie, and, uh, it was really good because he probably would have easily taken me out with a Spirit Shackle, so. And then I'm going to get Spirit Shackle, his Machamp, which doesn't matter. This is less big one. He's not swapping anywhere anyways. And um, it does pretty solid damage. But the knockoff is going to not take me out because actually this uh, Decidueye is not carrying an item. I'm pretty sure it had a Citrus Berry on it at one point. But I actually used it in a battle in the actual game. And the item disappeared. So that's the end of the battle, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's pretty fun. We're going to battle again sometime with better teams, and it'll be an even better battle. So, guys, stay tuned. Join the group if you want to battle me or anybody else, and have a great day.